Alright, welcome back to another episode in the continuation saga that is the dr blind playthrough of Dragon Age the Velgard. In the last episode you watch, hopefully watch, you saw that we rescued a Grey Warden and his pet Griffin, along with uh, encountered a beast light that uh, Goom, Loom, there we go, uh, who has taken the other 12 Griffins in existence right now. So we will be going after them. However, a part that didn't get recorded, and it's we're seeing the continuation of now, is during finding the Grey Warden and hunting him down to have him join our crew, we found out that there's a Blight Dragon in Minrathis, and there's a Blight Dragon in Treventer, and we were forced to choose to go help the Shadow Dragons in Minrathis, or go help the uh, Teeming Crows in Treventer. Which one did we choose? you're about to find out in this episode without further ado welcome to the continuation of dragon age of elgard blind playthrough as always my name is sig i hope you enjoy today's episode if you do don't forget to smash that like subscribe button turn on the bell icon to make sure you get notified anytime we go live or a new episode gets posted in this this series and of course if there's a game you want me to do a playthrough of story-wise comment down below as always thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy the continuation of this series. So let's get after it, y'all. Find out which Blight Dragon we took on. Dragon circling the Anderellas grounds. Gotta hurry. I was expecting it to be bad, but... No time to waste. We need to find Nev. The they mean were to real. stop us. Your lord demands death! Brooke, you turned up. We could use the help. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. If we can keep it here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right, let's see if I can get its attention. Witness! Witness the handiwork of immortals! 
Get it. By force, then. Whatever remains of you will become my new creations. She's blighted. There's a strange feeling to her. The gods corrupted her. Right. That's unexpected. What should we do? What we came to do. On your right! Watch the range attack! We got things ready. They're at range! gone, but it's wounded. We were so close. I know we can beat that thing. If only we were faster or figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. And we have to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. There's another dragon in Treviso. Maybe there's still time. Let's go. 
Hold on, Lucanus. We're on our way. Calling right now. This isn't gonna look good. I assume we're just too late. Yep. Look at that. We chased away the dragon in Menrathis. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows, but... We came as quick as we could after Menrathis. There was little chance. However fast you came, the gods timed their invasion well. I thought we'd be faster. I thought... Rook, you know Grey Wardens. Can they do anything about the Blighted Canals? Maybe not right away. They'll have their hands full with the gods. Just send them word. Please. We will not be idle. There are people to save and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. Then I can focus on Treviso. Once we find our footing, the blood of these gods will flow. Blighted dragons, Darkspawn obeying the Venatori? Maybe Solus will know something. What? You're hungry? I found a yam in the kitchen. <coughs> Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. My job was to keep the griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant Asan. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting. What's the history between Grey Wardens and griffins? Back in the day, Grey Wardens raised them as aerial cavalry. When a blight got going, Wardens rode them into battle. Eventually, war took its toll. They died out. Then where did Asan and the others come from? Way I heard it. Someone found a journal a few years back that mentioned a secret clutch of eggs. They'd been hidden for centuries, protected by a ward. Started hatching and out came 13 talkative griffins. Now, down to just one. Well, a confused griffin should fit right in around here. Appreciate it. There's no training manual for them anymore. I guess we'll figure it out together. <coughs> Griffins don't trust easily. Lancet and Remy had to work to win them over. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. A sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloomhaller attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First it stalks Wardens. Now it's after the Griffins. Don't worry. You and I have a deal. We'll find them. Appreciate that. Though it sounds like you've got your hands full around here. Just a tad. Elgernon and Gilanane. 
Hard to believe. Our very own elven gods are ending the world. That'll endear us to the rest of Thetis. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? I know. Our problem around here is we think too small. <laughs> okay, then. Good to know the boss can laugh about it. Not really, but dwelling on things won't help. What? I told you. It's yams or nothing. Or maybe you need a new menu. Alright, so the only reason why I, I did that one real quick is because anytime one of these icons has what looks like a clock on it, uh, it's a timed conversation, meaning you have to speak to them then or you possibly lose it after your next interaction. So, if I explained that before, but yes, that's why it's, it feels a little random at times. When last we spoke, you were hunting for followers of Elganan and Gilanane in hopes of finding... specifics. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Ontom are working for Elganon and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Ontom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. It's more than a promise this time. The Ontom and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The Blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Elganon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Elganon and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and blighted slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The Veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the Veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. Do you have any idea what you sound like? You could have actually saved the world from the Blight, but instead, you chose to kill thousands of people with your vanity project. It is not vanity. I broke this world. I am the only one who can fix it. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I don't care what they call me. If they're calling me anything, it means they're still alive, and that's all that matters. 
acceptance. You are willing to face the consequences your actions may one day bring because the world needs you. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Light Tessaluvian? Yeah, we found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganon's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solas thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. He's right, about the dragon hunter at least. Rook, when I was with the Inquisition, I saw some terrible things. But what happened to Treviso? I mean, so much death. Lucanus stayed behind. He said he'll be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We heard it but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. Then we find one. Next time a blooded dragon comes calling, it'll be the last time it comes calling. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear. You're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? Trust is such a strong word, you know? So you don't trust him? Eh. All right, then. So a Fade expert and a dragon hunter. I'll ask around about dragon hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> See, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. Rook, I was thinking of taking Hassan for a walk. He could use the exercise. Chance to stretch his wings. Thought you'd like to come along. Okay, Ballara, what's your lead on getting us a fate expert uh, for the team? Good evening. Greetings. Myrna, Borgoth, what's more of the Mornwatch doing here? I've been writing to a senior fate expert. Turns out he's a watcher like you, but I needed help tracking him down. Thus we came. You've done well since we last met at the Necropolis, Rook. Back straight. You wouldn't believe what I've seen since I left the Watchers. No one truly leaves the Watchers. I recall I was encouraged to travel for a time. It's brushed the dust from your bones. So Bilar has been in touch with one of our own necromancers? Yes. 
Do you know Professor Emmerich Volkarin? I've heard of him around the necropolis. Never met. The Professor specializes in the Fade and Spirits, a truly powerful psychagogue. He's currently investigating a disturbance in the Shrouded Halls. Seek him there. The place we were forbidden to enter as novices? Those? Shrouded Halls? You're long past being a novice. Rook, prepare well. Agreed. The Shrouded Halls have lately been... restless. Offer, Dweller. I will answer. Strength earns mastery. So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. What do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solas. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antom military broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antom invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right. Guess we'll be ready. Well, we need the support. Guess we're headed to Ravane. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. All righty. A little bit of a shorter episode. Um, yeah, a little bit of a shorter episode. The ending's kind of like, I only record this far because I wanted to make sure um, I didn't skip anything or didn't not record something of importance like I did on the last one. Talk about the dragons and making a decision. But uh, anyways, 
So as you saw, we saved Minthrathus, or quote unquote saved Minthrathus from the Blighted Dragon, and we weren't quick enough to save Winter uh, from being blighted all over. So that did happen, and then we uh, had a little powwow with Solus, and he has now told us the way to def supposedly defeat them. We need a Fade Expert and Dragon a dragon rider or hunter expert so we will be heading out to the ravine ravine in the next episode and we'll also be heading out to uh, my old stomping ground my character's old stomping grounds uh, i totally just blanked on what they're called now uh the morn watchers training school so we will be heading back there so that's what to expect in these next two episodes i hope you enjoyed I hope you uh, gain something from this, even if it's just a small break from reality, as that is the purpose of this channel, is just take a break and let all the stress out. So if you want to tune in to live streams or get notified when new episodes of this or any other game comes out on the channel, all you have to do is make sure you turn the bell icon on, like the page, and or like the video, and then subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. But without further ado... And my name is Sig. I'm so happy that you watched this. And I hope, you know, if you are playing Dragon Age the Velgard, you're having fun with it. And this could maybe help you in some ways. But until next time, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next episode or live stream. Till then, everyone. Take care.